different are you guys when Kevin's defending like he did tonight? He had three blocks at the rim. He had a really full stat sheet. Um, he takes a lot of pride in, uh, you know, being an all-around player. Obviously, just he's one of the best scorers to ever play. So I think that overshadows his all-around game, um, his playmaking, and also his defense. I think, um, in my opinion, that's what makes him so great is that he takes challenges. Um, he guards, wants to guard the best players. And, uh, you know, he blocks shots. You know, he can bl- block big shots. He contests everybody's shot. And, uh, you know, we're a great team, um, obviously, because he can do both. Quinn, Steve said before the game that better offensive execution, screens and driving to the basket and, you know, doing the little things would, would lead to more open looks. And, and you guys were able to get those from three-point land. Uh, yeah. What, what, did, what was working? Yeah, I thought we executed um, a lot better. Um you know, a lot of the stuff that we wanted to get to, we got to it tonight. Um, our communication throughout, you know, um, the game um, was phenomenal on the offensive end. Um, just, you know, our screening and, uh, you know, just making an extra pass, getting a good to great shot. And, uh, you know, we made shots tonight. Um, and, uh, you know, I thought we let off our defense. Clay got it going. Obviously, Kevin, Sean came in um, and, and got it going. And, uh, you know, we shared the ball. You guys, um, before this game, you knew you had a tough assignment with those two guards back over there, McCollum and Lillard. So what was your mindset coming into the game? And also in that second quarter there where the game turned, it looked like it turned mostly on defense where you guys got turnovers and missed shot and got some stops and went the other way. Yeah, obviously, you know, um, we're, with this team, it starts with McCollum and Lillard, um, one of the best backcourts in the league, obviously. Um, and then, you know, have a great team around those two guys. So we knew we had our hands full, but, um, we just want to make them work. Um, you know, they hit some shots early. Um, I thought Andre, um, and Clay did a great job just making those guys work. Obviously, they know their game's been, been in playoff battles against them and been playing them for a while. So just making them work. Um, second unit came in and did a great job getting us going. And, uh, thought the starters came back in to end the first half. I thought we ended well. And, uh, you know, we just kept with that momentum, um, you know, made some adjustments at halftime and got it done. Quinn, what did you think of uh, Jordan's fake hustle that ended up turning into real hustle? Save that uh, <laughs> save that play near the baseline in front of the bench. Fake hustle? Yeah, that's what, that's what, that's what he called it. That's what he called it. That's oh, what he called it, yeah. Nah. <laughs> I, um, you know, I was so proud of Jordan. Um, obviously, me and him have gotten extremely close, and we always hold each other accountable. Um, whether if it's being there early, leaving late, um, you know, and sometimes we're in a rotation, sometimes we're not. But I think, um, you know, when I was in the rotation, he was telling me to stay positive and keep working and, and challenging me every day and, and vice versa. And uh, I'm so proud of him um, just to for him to, to play the way he did today without, you know, being in rotation and stuff like that, just staying ready. You know, that's a testament to his character, a testament to his professionalism. And uh, how much of a team guy he is. He's always been like that. He's been a winner his whole life. So, so proud of him. You know, we know what we can expect from him. And, uh, you know, he played extremely well for us tonight. I was going to to your point that you've often said about staying ready regardless, like your situation, his situation, how easy or difficult is it to stay true to that no matter if you know it's important to do that but knowing the circumstances yeah I mean it's a long season and I think guys have learned from experience um you know you never know you never know when when you when you won't play or where you play just you don't want to get the opportunity and not be ready and I think it starts with our coaches they're just keeping us ready keeping us working it starts with our vets um just everybody holding each other accountable and you know your teammates just you know obviously when stuff isn't going well or you're not where you want to be it's tough to get down on yourself you have a lot of people in your ear you know outside but you know our teammates all hold each other accountable hold us accountable and uh you know just it goes down from top to bottom i think every player on this team all 16 guys um you know will help this team win in, in a lot of ways this year and everybody believes that so um, just from experience and just, you know, staying ready. Um, it, it would take, you know, guys' careers to the next level.